Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping back into my channel. Today is November 5th, 2020, just after the big US election. And I'm actually headed out to get a, headed out, hopefully, to get a deer with my muzzleloader. Um, the muzzleloader I'm shooting is a CVA Optima. This is the one with, this is the LR, which has the 30 inch barrel. And I have a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope on it. Um, very, very nice rifle. I've never shot a deer with it yet. Um, but it shoots very accurately when I'm shooting targets and uh, I think it'll get the job done. I'm shooting 250 grain sabots, obviously, and uh, I have it sighted in an inch high at 100 yards, so it should be, it should be good right out to 200, maybe hold a couple inches high. I'm hunting in the Interlake region of Manitoba and uh, we got a weather system coming in, so the rut is starting, the deer should be moving. Let's get in the stand. Wish me luck. Well... That didn't take long. Whew. Okay. Well, I was just getting set up in a blind that I haven't sat in yet this year and uh, didn't even have a primer in my muzzleloader. <laughs> and I looked up maybe a hundred yards nice, well, a decent buck, I don't know, he's, he's not huge, but a decent buck came out, and uh, I quick grunted to get him to stop, grabbed my primers, threw it in, and the old CVA got her done. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to think about that one, all I could see had decent horns, he's pretty high, not very wide, but I just heard him crashing in the bush. Let's give him a few minutes and we'll go find him. I could see as he was running away, because you can see, you'll see on the video obviously, he ran around and went back where he came from. Um, I can see there's a good exit. It looks like it's perfect right behind the shoulder, right dead center. So it's going to be a long shot. So that didn't take very long. Yay! Huh. It's been a couple years since I shot a deer, actually. All right. I gave the deer a few minutes to uh, expire. It, so it sounded like I could hear where he went down. Um, doesn't sound like it's too far out. Got my rifle reloaded, or I should say my muzzleloader reloaded, and uh, I just, for curiosity, ranged where I shot. I'd had literally 10 seconds to decide whether I was gonna shoot him at that distance, and uh, my uh, judgment was, I figured he was about 120 yards. I ranged, it was actually 136. So I was pretty close, but that is because of practice. Whenever you get to an area, you need to always be ranging your area if you have a range finder. Um, so, when it's a very, very rough shot like this one was, it's just automatically you know where it is. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go see if we can find them. I'm so stoked. It's been a while since I shot it here, so. <sighs> yes, venison for the freezer. All right. Um, I can't really see any blood here. It's because we just had some rain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can replay the footage here. Okay. Just want to see where he ran. So he was standing just on this side of this little roll run. Boom. Okay, so he ran right at the edge of it. Okay, so I think I know where he went. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. All right, well that didn't take very long. If you guys can see, that's very fresh blood right there. And he ran right off into that way. So, see if we can find him. I'm gonna just follow this blood trail. All right, so we got blood there. We got blood there. Blood here, here. Oh, he's bleeding good. Blood. Um, where? 
Where is the next blood? Okay, here we go. Blood. You guys can probably see that or not, I'm not sure. It's all splashed on there. Blood here, 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 there, here, 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 here. Okay, so from here, there's more on the more in the grass here. Here, here. Man, I should have maybe worn my rubber boots for this. Blood, blood. Let's see, where did you go? Okay, he turned here. Blood. You can see on the tree here, splashed pretty good. He actually went right through here. And, okay, I can see blood over there. So, I can jump ahead a little bit. Blood, which direction did he go? Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so he turned direction, went back west. Here's blood. There's blood. You can see he spun around here a bit. Blood, blood. It's not gonna last very long in this condition. Blood. Ooh. Okay, I got blood here. And now I don't see any blood. Which way did you go? Huh, okay. Alright, so. This is my last point of blood right here. All right guys, I just spent 10 minutes doing a big lap around this, you know, little swampy area here, trying to find blood, and uh, I can see the deer. I walked within probably eight feet of it, but it's, you know, it's laying down on the grass. He apparently doubled back on his tracks, so this is why the blood disappeared. But anyways, let's go take a look at him. I don't know if you guys can see it. That looks like a nose sticking up right there. And the last place I seen blood was right there. All's well that ends well. <laughs> I don't know. Ouch, I just skinned my shin on a tree. I should watch where I'm going. And there he is. Piece of side body on him. Alrighty, don't need the primer in here anymore. Pick that out, close it up, lean this against a tree. I'll be honest, that's a weird looking buck. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Technically, that's a drop time. You gotta be kidding me. Weird looking animal. So we got one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> it's a good animal to take out of the gene pool, I guess. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. Huh. It's all scraped up. Strange buck. Oh well, you know what? Believe it or not, that's actually my biggest buck. Um, I'm more of a meat hunter. I've always been more of a meat hunter than a, a trophy hunter. I've shot lots of deer, but that's my biggest. It's not saying much. Wow. That was my goal this year, I said, to get a bigger buck than I've ever gotten before. <laughs> wow. Huh. 
you guys probably can't see from there, but he's actually, he's quite rutted up. Um, the rut is just starting. I was hunting the other day and I did see there was just a small spike buck. He was definitely rutting hard, so. Cool. Gonna taste? Very good. Awesome. Um... You figure out pretty quick if you're out of shape when you got to drag a deer in the bush. Especially a nice body animal like this. I mean, I kid you not, I shot that deer right here. This is exactly where I walked out of this blood trail. It didn't go 30 yards. That's crazy. All right, well, I'll set it up and we'll get some pictures. What a beautiful animal, honestly. Um, he's got an extremely nice cape. I'm obviously not gonna mount him, I'll just do a European of him. But uh, I think I might save the cape and uh, just freeze it for the future. Um, you never know. What an absolutely beautiful deer. The CVA Optima definitely did the job. Um, I've just been looking at it here now, and I think I actually did get a hard shot, especially looking by the blood. Um, looks like a heart shot, so got her exactly where I wanted to. <laughs> what a weird little buck. Um, it's good to call him. I'm just going to call him a call buck. Definitely still my biggest buck, which says absolutely nothing, but we don't need those genetics up here. There's much better bucks up here, so. Hmm. What I'm really looking forward to is I guess I should mute my phone what I'm really looking forward to is eating the meat off of it like I was saying I am primarily a meat hunter and uh, you know people that are trophy hunters I'm not judging people for that but uh, I'm primarily a meat hunter and uh, yeah that's it for my season I still have uh, today is Thursday, so I have three more days of muzzleloader season and then three more weeks of rifle season and I have four family members and or friends that have never shot a deer that would like to shoot a deer this year. So that's what my next three weeks are going to consist of, helping other people get deer and I'm going to try and film it. Much easier to film when you're not the one pulling the trigger. But I'm going to get this sucker loaded up onto the truck and uh, get them all skinned out. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate you guys watching. More videos coming really soon, especially ice fishing videos.